Namaskar. Welcome to the latest edition of Organizer This Week. The Nupur Sharma episode refuses to die down, even though it was the unwarranted response of some Gulf countries, then it was the brutal murder of Kanayalal. Now, every second day, one Islamic radical or the other is issuing threats, calling for Nupur Sharma's beheading, announcing bounties. Now, there were calls for a boycott of Hindu businesses. Despite all these, they are called the Darahua Musliman, oppressed Muslims. This is ridiculous to say the least. There is a saying that if Islamic radicals are the snakes, then liberals, secularists and moderate Muslims are the grass where they hide. Last week, we have seen how the judiciary had also waded into this controversy. The observations of some Supreme Court judges during the hearing of Nupur Sharma's petition seeking clubbing together of multiple FIRs lodged against her in several states had kicked up a major controversy. The remarks have emboldened the Islamist and anti-Hindu forces. By making such indiscreet remarks, the Supreme Court judges have crossed the Lakshman Rekha. The outbursts have serious ramifications for the judiciary and democracy as the nation expects highest dignity, decorum and poise from the judiciary. Without crossing his Lakshman Rekha, Dr. C. V. Ananda Bose analyzes how judges have crossed their Lakshman Rekha. In this context, it would be in the fitness of things to revisit a blog written by late Sri Arun Jaitley in the wake of the Supreme Court uh, striking down 99th Constitution Amendment passed by Parliament. Jaitley says, and I quote, a constitutional court while interpreting constitution had to base the judgment on constitutional principles. There is no constitutional principle that democracy and its institutions have to be saved from elected representatives. In a thought-provoking article by Sri Surendra Nathan, spells out the repercussions of the unwarranted outbursts by honorable judges on a majority of citizens. In a straight talk, former judge Justice S. N. Dhingra asserted that the Supreme Court is not above law and observations made by the honorable judges are irresponsible and illegal. Even before Kanayalal was murdered, an Amravati based pharmacist was murdered for sharing a message on WhatsApp supporting Nupur Sharma. In fact, Organizer was the first publication to report this when all the national media outlets had turned a blind eye. According to the police, one of the accused was Dr. Yusuf Khan. You know who is this guy? Dr. Khan was the family friend of the victim and Umesh had helped him financially several times in the past. It is beyond our comprehension how somebody who had been a close friend can encourage someone to kill a friend over a WhatsApp message. In the first week of the month, southern Assam was lashed by floods. A report from Assam points out that the flood, which claimed several lives and uh, destroyed several properties, public and private properties, was a man-made disaster. Our writer Varun Singh analyzes what was the strategy behind BJP making Shinde the chief minister of Maharashtra even when it was the largest party. He also explains why Devendra Fatnavis, the deputy chief minister, is uh, accepting the post of deputy chief ministership is not a climb down. Another controversy that has laid bare the hypocrisy of left, left liberals was the controversy over the Kali film being directed by Lena Manimekalai. She is an atheist and the film being produced to show Hindu dharma in a poor light. Controversial Trinamool Congress MP Mahua Mo Moitra 
also made some comments which were in bad taste. However, her party has distanced her itself from her comments. Moving from Moitra to Bengal, the state is emerging as the hub of human trafficking. Three decades of communist rule has ruined the state economically and socially. Trinamool under Mamata Banerjee is also not doing anything good. Chairperson of National Women's Commission Rekha Sharma has put together an article on the ground situation on the basis of her visits and interactions there. Besides, we have education section which talks about how curriculum change can transform job seekers to job creators. Then we have Dhawal Patel writing how Draupati Murmu is the right choice for presidentship. Besides, we have regular columns like Unsung Heroes and Temples. I hope you all like the latest edition of Organizer. Do write to us, share your ideas and this is very important to keep our spirits high. Thank you for watching and thank you once again.